welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity natural log of x over cos square of x dx well how to begin okay first uh, here integral from 0 to infinity natural log of x over we know uh, hyperbolic cosine of x is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 here the square so the square dx well uh, then we know here 2 square so we can write 4 times integral from 0 to infinity now uh, inside the parentheses we have e to the x plus e to the minus x now I am going to divide by e to the x so we have 1 plus uh, if we divide e to the minus x by e to the x we have e to the minus 2 times x here power 2 and uh, here we have natural log of x also we here we have square so we should multiply by uh, e to the minus 2x here dx well then uh, 4 times integral from 0 to infinity here e to the minus 2 times x natural log of x now here we have 1 over 1 plus e to the minus 2 times x uh, 2 power so we know 1 over 1 plus x perfect square is equal to uh, when uh, absolute value of x lower than 1 we know the infinite series n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times n plus 1 times x to the n so if you plug in uh, e to the minus 2x instead of x we have uh, we can write here uh, 0 sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n n plus 1 now instead of x uh, we should plug in e to the minus 2x but here n power so e to the minus 2x n times dx now we can switch the integral sign in sigma notation so we can write 4 times infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times n plus 1 integral from 0 to infinity here e to the minus 2x e to the minus 2x n so we can write e to the minus 2x times n plus 1 uh, times here natural log of x dx now uh, I am going to take this integral is equal to j and uh, j is equal to now I am going to take a substitution uh, so we can take 2 times uh, 2 times n plus 1 n plus 1 times x is equal to u then differentiate 2 times n plus 1 dx is equal to du so uh, we can plug in now we know limit also 0 to infinity so 0 to infinity now e to the uh, 2x n plus 1 we know u so minus u times natural log of x is equal to u over 2 times n plus 1 times dx is equal to du over 2 times n plus 1 okay then uh, we know uh, 2 times n plus 1 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign so 2 times n plus 1 and uh, here we have natural log so according to property of natural log division rule we can split this integral into two different integrals so we have integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus u times natural log of u uh, then uh, sorry here du then minus integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus u times natural log of 2 times n plus 1 but we know natural log of 2 times n plus 1 is a constant so natural log of uh, 2 times n plus 1 integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus u t u okay then mm, we know uh, this integral is equal to 
the integral representation of uh, minus gamma Euler's mass coronal constant so we can write uh, here 1 over 2 times n plus 1 minus gamma so minus gamma over 2 times n plus 1 uh, then minus we know this is equal to 1 so natural log of 2 times n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 2 times n plus 1 okay then uh, we can write this is also equal to minus gamma 2 times n plus 1 uh, minus now according to property of natural log we can split natural log of 2 times n plus 1 uh, like natural log of 2 over 2 times n plus 1 minus natural log of n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 okay then uh, we can write now i is equal to i is equal to uh, 4 times infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times n plus 1 then we know here we have j so j is equal to j is equal to minus gamma over 2 times n plus 1 minus natural log of 2 over 2 times n plus 1 minus natural log of n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 now we know uh, n plus 1 get cancelled also this 2 get cancelled so here we have 2 so we have uh, minus 2 times gamma minus 2 times gamma infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power then uh, minus 2 times natural log of 2 2 times natural log of 2 infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power then uh, minus 2 times infinite sum 0 to infinity natural log of n plus 1 uh, here minus 1 to the n power okay uh, now how to evaluate uh, the sums um, okay now uh, we can use the definition of uh, Dirichlet eta function we know the definition of eta function eta of s is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 over n raised to the s power now if we differentiate this we have eta dash of s is equal to infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 so here n raised to the minus s power in the numerator so we should multiply by minus sign so minus n power natural log of n over n raised to the s power okay then uh, we can write now i is equal to i is equal to minus 2 times gamma now here we have n is equal uh, 0 to infinity but here we have n is equal uh, 1 to infinity so uh, we can uh, shift the index so here when n is equal 1 to infinity when n is equal 1 to infinity here minus 1 to the n plus 1 power minus 2 times natural log of 2 n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power minus 2 times sum of sorry here 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n plus 1 power natural log of n okay then hmm, now we can uh, apply the digital theta function here we know this is equal to eta of 0 eta of 0 when uh, s is equal to 0 here we have minus 1 to the n plus 1 so we can write here uh, eta of 0 minus 2 times natural log of 2 again eta of 0 minus uh, 2 times now here we have uh, minus 1 to the n plus 1 times natural log of n uh, but here minus 1 to the n so we should multiply by minus 
sine so we have here plus sine 2 times uh, 2 times eta dash of 0 eta dash of 0 now uh, how to find eta of 0 and eta dash of 0 okay uh, we know the um, relation between eta function and uh, theta function so uh, this is the relation eta dash of s is equal to 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus s times theta of s now uh, if we plug in 0 eta of 0 is equal to 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus s uh, sorry here 0 here eta of 0 now we know 1 minus 2 so minus theta of 0 minus theta of 0 and uh, here minus theta of 0 we know minus 1 half so we have 1 half okay uh, if you want uh, this is the definition of eta function eta of s is equal to uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n raised to the s so if you want the derivative of theta function uh, here we can write n raised to the minus s power in the numerator so we can easily differentiate so now we can write uh, we need to eta dash of 0 therefore uh, now I am going to differentiate this formula so we can write eta dash of s is equal to here product of two functions so we can apply product rule so first uh, rewrite sorry uh, 1 minus 2 raised to the 1 minus s now derivative of theta function uh, theta dash of s <coughs> plus now rewrite second function theta of s then derivative of 1 minus 2 to the 1 minus s so uh, we have 2 to the 1 minus s times natural log of 2 now if we plug in 0 <coughs> eta dash of 0 is equal to uh, here um, we have minus 1 so minus theta dash of 0 then here plus theta of 0 uh, 2 raised to the 1 minus s so s we know 0 so 2 times natural log of 2 2 times natural log of 2 then uh, theta dash of 0 you can evaluate theta dash of 0 by derivating this function so um, theta dash of 0 is equal to uh, 1 half minus 1 half so here we have 1 half natural log of 2 times pi 1 half natural log of 2 times pi uh, then here theta of 0 we know theta of 0 minus 1 half so here minus 1 half natural log of 2 raised to the 2 power so natural log of 4 okay then uh, here we can simplify a little bit so uh, 1 half natural log of 2 times pi over 4 and this is equal to 1 half natural log of pi over 2 now uh, we can write i is equal to i is equal to we know minus 2 times gamma minus 2 times gamma eta of 0 eta of 0 we know 1 half then minus 2 times natural log of 2 eta of 0 again 1 half uh, then plus 2 times eta dash of 0 eta dash of 0 we know 1 half natural log of pi over 2 okay then we can simplify this 2 get cancelled and this 2 also get cancelled this 2 also cancel so we have here natural log of pi over 2 minus natural log of 2 so natural log of pi over 4 here minus gamma okay this is the answer for this nice integral Thank you for watching.